Hey there guys, I'm AJ, and quite recently there have been a lot of advancements in Payday Modding. Uh, most notably, the uh, improved modding method introduced by Overkill Software themselves. Now, this method is a lot easier to use, but uh, it's, it is a, it's a little restrictive. Uh, so, I prefer using the, the mod patcher still. Um, I'd like to make a video and show you how to use both. Um, obviously not at the same time, but yeah. So, let's begin. Um, you should now see two options on your video and you can select one and jump to the video you'd like to see. Okay, so we will start with the uh, mod override system. Now this is the new system introduced by Overkill Software. Uh, it's the idea that you can literally copy and paste a mod into this folder, the mod overrides, and it will appear in the game. Now I've prepared a mod um, for you, uh, basically my Iron Man mask. I've not shown this off yet, so don't tell anyone that you know it exists or anything. Um, but here we've got the Iron Man ready for the mod override. Um, I'm just going to walk you through it. Basically, the mod override, um, you basically take the ex the original file directory and write it into the mod override folder. So, in the case of the bullet mask I want to replace, it's units. Payday 2, Masks, MSK Bullet, and then the three files that I wish to change. I can just copy them, paste their, this folder, this full folder, from Iron Man, into Mod Overrides, and that will be the mod in the, uh, in the game. Um, I will show you how to... Uh, I, I'll show you that, pretty much. Now if you go to Options, Mods, and you'll see the four files I have replaced. So we can pretty much go to the inventory, equip masks, and somewhere will be my Iron Man mask, there it is. Okay, so we preview that, and it's the Iron Man mask, that is awesome, it works. Uh, it's the easiest method of modding there is. Um, just slapping files in a folder and pray it works. Um, and to uninstall is just as easy. You remove the files and they're gone. Uh, the only issue is a misspelling or just just the slightest little difference and the files won't appear. But that shouldn't be a problem. Um, you can download mods from the website. For instance, Last Bullet. You click download and you'll receive a zip or raw file whenever it does something. There we go. Here we've got a raw file. I can just cut, drop it into mod overrides extract here and we'll get surprise motherfucker now this is a pretty cool mod I must say we can delete the raw file we don't need that anymore and just launch the game Now if we approach a guard, and it went off. 
That is uh, a mod already on our website, uh, made by Strail or Stra. I I apologize, man. I can't really pronounce your name, but it's a badass mod, and I am going to give it five stars. Five stars. We'll just assume it worked right. Okay. Yeah, it did. Ooh. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is to the mod override folder. I will uninstall that mod now. And we can either finish up here or you can check out the other mod patching system. Now, my favourite method of modding would be the PD mods files with a mod patcher. It may not be quite as easy, uh, but it's certainly a lot more useful. You can do a hell of a, mo a lot more with these PD mods than you can with the regular mod override folder. Now, to begin with, you'll get your um, PD uh, uh, payday mod patcher tool uh, or mod bundler. Bundle patcher, whatever they call it. Um, and all we got to do is run this. You'll be prompted with a first time launch, and it will ask you to find the game assets folder. Now, my assets folder is probably different to yours. Mine's in the D drive. Um, so I'll find mine. Yours is likely to be uh, C drive. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Payday 2, and then the Assets folder. And that's what you're looking for. And I will show you how to create a mod using this method. Now, I've already prepared something called a script. It's basically each directory of each file I want to replace. Um, and I will show you how to do the slower method and the script method. The slower method is to browse, find for instance the DF which is the diffuse texture, the, the color map, um, and I will type in units, payday 2, masks, MSK bullet, and then it's already got bullet DF underscore, uh, bullet underscore DF dot texture. That's what I want to replace. So I tick that and Add replacement mod. Now that is the texture uh, now ready to be exported into a mod, a PD mod. But I want more than that. So I'm going to load the PD mod project and run the script. And the script will add all of the files that I want to replace, not just one at a time. Much, much easier. And it's also got the name, description, mod author, etc. So I can create. I've already got one there, but I'm going to overwrite it. And that is your mod created. From there, you can upload it to the website, you can share it to your friends, whatever you want. Here, I'm going to show you how to install it with the new bundle patcher. This newest one, it's got a few bugs. The create mod is currently non-functional, that's why I used the older one. But uh, for this demonstration, I will use it to install. Now all I've got to do is add mods and it will find my last created mod. Uh, already exists, would you like to overwrite? I say yes. Um, I can tick it um, and it will highlight green for installation. I can untick it. Uh, if I were to untick a, uh, an already installed mod it would highlight red for uninstall. And I can also right click and toggle reinstallation um, and it will highlight orange. Um, for now I'm going to install the Iron Man mask. I believe. Yeah, there we go. 
install and it's going to be a fairly quick process that was actually quicker than I expected and I can run the game and I will see my mod in the game. Now several advantages to this method are not only that I just load in the payday mod and it's done is strings. Now this string with the name and the description I can't edit those with the simple mod override folder but the PD mods can and that's why I like that. I can do much more with the PD mods than I can with the mod override. Um, I can assemble this mask, put it on, and I feel like a badass. Don't worry, this is just a work in progress, and you shouldn't have seen it yet, so again, don't tell anyone. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, if you want to toggle for reinstallation, it will highlight orange, or you can uninstall entirely and it will highlight red. Apply changes, and the mod is gone. That's all it takes. It, both methods are really, really simple. So don't get too bummed out if if it looks terrifying. It's it's really not. Um, same again. Two options, or you can go right to the finish. Righto, I hope this tutorial on how to use both methods of the mod patching uh, has been helpful, enlightening. Um, if you don't get it, please don't hesitate to contact myself, uh, AJ Valentine, or any of the members of Last Bullet. I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Um, with that, I bid you a good day.